Wi-Fi obtaining IP address so you can fix that uh, for the Wi-Fi obtaining IP address so when you try to connect your Wi-Fi to the network it will say it is obtaining an IP address and it is stuck over there so your Wi-Fi obtaining address it won't uh, finally connect it keeps on obtaining IP address so how do you fix that issue okay guys you can see over here it's a uh, settings you have to open the setting page and somewhere it's gonna say the application different phone has a different arrangement so somewhere you're gonna access a list of application so, so try to access a list of application so when you access the list of application somewhere you're gonna find setting so here's uh, some application manager so check somewhere settings Okay, so, okay, here on the so I didn't find settings over here. So, somewhere try to access a different folder, somewhere it might find uh, settings. There are these many folders, so here you can see it's all in the list of all applications. Somewhere wants to be settings, it is arranged in alphabetical order. So, go to letter yes. Where is yes? Here it is the settings. When you click on settings, uh, you can get access to the setting page. Try to clear the case and somewhere to find our stories. So you can just uh, clear the case, clear the data, so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted. This includes all the file settings that you have done, database and everything. So before you do it, you can read it. Once you have done it, I can go back to same application and you can uh, access it. So try to access uh, list of applications. Okay, not in the default application. Is the application manager? Again, go to settings. Hit settings, and then. Now you'll just, uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data. Now you'll force stop it. So what are you guys gonna do? Just force stop it. Click on OK. Done with the force stop. Now what are you gonna do? Just restart your device. Now you're gonna check it out. See if this method is working. Okay guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings, you're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is, on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol, tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on manage network setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you can note down first three value 192.168.1. So you may be uh, 10 instead of 1. Your third value may be 100 or something else. So you're going to note down first three value. So mine is 192.168.1. Change the DHCP to a statistic. Now you can see. You're going to enter over here IP address 192.168.1. Three values should be as it is. Third value you can change. Third value you can change from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104. If it is 10, you can change it to 11, 12, 13, 14. If it is uh, something like 18, 19, 20, or 30, you can change it to 31, 32, 33. Just make a little bit changes. Now come down. Your gateway should be 192.168.1.1. So leave it as it is your gateway. 
So the gateway should be like uh, you can say first three value one nine two one six eight dot. So your gateway might be like hundred dot one or two hundred. Uh, sorry guys, it should it might be uh, two hundred dot one or it might be your gateway might be like ten dot one. So the first three value do not change. The last value should be one for gateway. So never change first three value. Now the DNS, you just have to delete it, and you can see it is given here. You can put it dot it dot it dot it. Now DNS two, you can see, leave it as it is, or you can just put as it is. It dot it dot four dot four. Okay, now everything is fine. Click on save. Now you can see it's connecting. Connected. Now try to browse your internet. Make sure it is working. If it do not work, tap it again for a few seconds. Click on manage network setting. So this time, so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address. So DNS address. Uh, you just make a little bit changes. So try to put in a DNS address one. So remove DNS address two. It should be empty. In DNS address one, we had eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So four value all over eight 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 eight. Change it to one nine two one six eight and one dot one. So we'll put the DNS one as one nine two one six eight one dot one, and then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay, so you're gonna open the setting in your phone, and then so somewhere, so different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna check for updates. In my phone, it's a about device, and here it is on the top itself, software update. In some phone, in the setting page itself, in the on the top, you'll find a system update and all of this stuff. So somewhere you're gonna find update, or you can search manually on the search in setting. Now click on update now. It will check for updates and install all necessary updates. Sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem. The last update has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, open the setting inside your phone and you're going to find developer option. You do not find developer option anywhere. You wanna to go to about device and then you're gonna see the build number. You can tap it for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see developer mode has been enabled. Go back now. Now you're gonna search for developer option. You're gonna find over here developer option. Click on developer option, come down and somewhere setting related to network so somewhere you are going to find uh, it's a use legacy DSCP client so if you find somewhere uh, it's a DHCP use legacy DHCP client then you're gonna to have to enable it so every phone do not have this uh, DHCP legacy client so if you do not see anywhere use uh, DHCP legacy client in your phone say so skip it or if you have to add that particular option use DHCP legacy client in your phone you just have to enable that DHCP legacy client and restart your phone and check it out Okay guys, so you're going to find setting in your phone and open the setting. Inside setting, somewhere you're going to find backup and reset. Different phone has a different arrangement. Even you can search over here at the, on the top on the search. You can make a search for backup and reset or you can just make a search for network setting, reset and all this. So in my phone, here I have inside additional setting. So in some phone, you'll find it on the top itself. Here I have a backup and reset. So when you open the backup and reset, 
you're going to see at the bottom here I have a network setting reset. When I click on that, here you have an option for the network setting reset. This will reset all your network setting including Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth. So before you continue, different phone has a different arrangement, so read it before you continue. So it will reset all your password and everything. So just below the page at the bottom, here you have a reset setting. Click on that. It can ask you to enter the pattern. Now it can ask you whether you want to reset. So click on OK after reading it. Now you can see network setting has been reset. And when you go to the Wi-Fi, it can ask you for the password again. So re-enter the password, try to connect and then check it out. Open the keypad. You're going to type star hash zero zero one one and hash. You're going to see this. Click on more. Go to Wi-Fi. And now you're going to see this. I scroll down and you can see here you have an option. You're going to press here it is Wi Fi power save mode. Turn it off. You can see, turn it off. Done. Now go back and restart your device. After restart, you're going to check it out. 